I'm doing my vlog a little bit early this week because I'm not going to be here over the weekend. So, where am I going to be? Oh, by the way, I have morning tea. Morning tea. Not afternoon tea, morning tea. And just before I tell you where I'm going to be this weekend, I just want to sit, show you what I use to brew my tea. So, you have all these awesome tea strainers and I'm drinking Twining's English breakfast tea this morning. So that has extra caffeine in it and it brews faster, which tells you why I like to drink it occasionally. I have run out of Yorkshire tea for all of you UK subscribers that love the fact that I drink Yorkshire tea and my husband was just complaining to me about it this morning that we didn't have any and he was whinging. So I have to get some more. <laughs> Anyway, so I have some English breakfast tea leaves and this is what I use to put my tea leaves in and brew my tea because I like the leaves better than the backs. It's just they use the first pickings to go into the fresh leaves and then they use second, third, fourth, fifth pickings with twigs and all sorts of other stuff in it and they go into the bag so I always like the leaves so uh, uh, my kids oh and he's dripping because I've just popped him back in but this is my little tea steeper and you take his pants off <laughs> and you put your leaves in him and then he sits in your mug like that and brews how gorgeous is that and of course every Mother's Day my kids always get me something to do with tea. Like whether it's, and at Christmas my husband always buys me like a selection of all different types of teas. Because we usually are away from home over Christmas and so he likes me to have really nice interesting tea while we're away in a little like travel thing. But um, my boys are always looking for really funky kind of interesting stuff to do with tea. Whether it's tea... Uh, cups or mugs or strainers or pots or leaves or good tea cozies who you know doesn't matter <laughs> whatever it is to do with it they really like so um, I just thought I'd show that because I've lost him for a while he was in my bits drawer and um, I found him this morning and I thought yay I'm gonna use him <laughs> I thought you would like to know. So where am I going this weekend? Okay, so I'm going on a women's camp out to Lake Perseverance. So Lake Perseverance, so it makes me wonder whether I need to persevere with her to get there because it's like in, it's out west in Queensland. Out west, like past Toowoomba. So for those of you that know Queensland, it's like past Esk, out west. And, um... I have never been out there before, so I'm taking my sketch pads and whatever. But it's a it's a Christian camp with these lovely ladies, and Esther Ministries is all about um, ladies that live on rural and regional areas that don't always get access to and can't always come into the metro areas for all the conferences that are on and things like that. So it's a way for relationships to be built and stuff like that to happen. I know I love it. It's the first one I'm going on, and my friend Chris Fitzell, who's at, at my church, she does the music for it, and she's been angling for me to go for, oh, at least a year now, to different camps. This is the first one I'm going on. So, Chris, well done, you got me to go. <laughs> but that means I can't do my vlog this on Friday or Saturday, because I'm usually late. <laughs> So I've got to do it now and I'm lucky. I was thinking of doing it this morning but I went out and got some mail and I'm really glad that I did it because I got another big thing of happy mail. So the next thing that I'm doing, that I'm showing you is some happy mail that I've gotten in the last week. So the first lot is from um, Tia Artista in the States, in Florida. Thank you Tia. She sent me this cool little envelope and I'm loving all the map stuff on the side and particularly this round stamp so I just love that round stamp I'm going to keep it and use it um, 
And Tia, I'm, I can't show you everything. I can't show everything that you gave me because I've already used some of it. Yay! It was good stuff. Anyway, so she just sent me some bits and pieces, painted sort of sparkly um, scratch papers and deli papers that I can use. She sent me some of this pink mesh. It's the perfect size for a letter journal, Tia. Are you telling me something? Should I use this for a letter journal? It'd be interesting. She bought me. She gave me some of this gorgeous ribbon, but I've already used some of it on a letter journal. And some random book pages, and these are all like scientific ones. And of course, that's not the sort of book page I would normally go for. She sent me a, pe a napkin and this mesh, and that's like it feels like paper fibers, but it's like reasonably tough but I really like it because it's very lacy if you see it here you can see it against a lighter thing you can see the swirls in it I love it I'm figuring out what to do with it and just a punch which I can use for spraying as a stencil so thank you very much Tia she also got me some of these little embellishments that I have to figure out what I'm going to do with but they would look really good on a curiosity canvas or you know something like the mixed media canvas behind me so that's awesome number one number two from Jessica Robinette um, thank you Jessica lovely 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 let me just open the env I've had to keep them in the envelopes because I'm like all these arrived after I did my vlog last week. So they've been sitting on my desk for a week and I'm like, oh, I've got to thank, I've got to thank and I can't lose any bits. Anyway, Jessica sent me a whole bunch of these like little tags which is fabulous for like smash booking or letter journals. That one's actually fabric. And it looks like she's used a die or a punch to try and punch out of this but this is like, um, that kind of, you used to call it paper scrunched ribbon and you used to be able to, I used to buy it in coils and it would come in like a fine cord, you would open it up and do beautiful great big bows and rosettes and stuff on presents and I haven't seen it for a lot of years but you know, that doesn't mean it's still not out there, it just means I don't use them anymore. Anyway, so she also sent me a heap of book pages with various stamps on them or oh, like the pussycat you knew I would like that because Halloween's coming up and you I know you're a big Halloween fan Halloween's coming up love the pussycats and all different types of these are skulls you a bit macabre Jessica you strike me as someone who might be well you like the gruesome and macabre <laughs> and the thing that started it was um, my chicken cards and so <laughs> she found she saw my chicken cards and then said hmm you would like maybe some of these chicken window stickers that I've got now they're very faded but I like them faded because you know I'm a pink person so these are window stickers and it says do not apply in freezing weather. Add a little mild liquid detergent to the water or so with wet before applying the decal. Alright. So, I'm looking at the window for my studio thinking, hmm, they might go on there or I'll figure out some way to use them. And also she's given me a little bit of tissue paper and she's stamped it with all these gruesome type Halloween stamps, which are really kind of cool. I'm loving the owls. I really do love the owls and I love um, the bats and the, the, that is so cute. So all of it is just awesome and I am absolutely so if I was doing the ATC swap I would definitely be using those in that because they're really cool. And she sent me this tiny little envelope. So I'm going to reuse the envelope. I usually make my envelopes with this tiny little card. Which is so cute. So this will be good. And she hasn't written me a note. You know, one thing that I would love. If anybody's sending me happy mail. And, you know, I love, you know me. 
I love happy mail. I love presents. But it would be really good if you could just put, pop a little handwritten note in there telling me who you were, why you sent me some stuff. Because some people like to be really anonymous on their return addresses. And so if I'm just looking at return addresses, I've seen Claudia um, actually have the same problem that she doesn't quite know who sent her things. And I'm like, well, you know, I want to be able to thank you all properly on my YouTube channel. So the next thing I got, and this is not strictly happy mail, but it's got some happy mail. I got a gorgeous postcard from my friend in the Netherlands, Benice. And I just love it. And this is like my birthday card. And she goes, just me wishing you a happy birthday, not even a handmade card. <gasps> But I love the artwork. And she goes, but I really love the art on this page. <laughs> yes, Bernice, you know me well. Anyway, she also sent me like some printed like deli paper. And it's from the 1960s. And it's like from a large supermarket chain in the Netherlands. So it's all the sort of ads that you get like in America. Or we even had these things in Australia but it's all in Dutch I love it love it Benice love it <laughs> can't wait to use it so last but not least I went to the post office today and I had a pick up a parcel notice in my letterbox and I went mm, wonder I haven't ordered anything I wonder what that is So anyway, it was this great big envelope, and it's from Wendy. So it's from Wendy, and Wendy, I know a few Wendy's, so I don't know whether it's Wendy Ewing, Wendy High, hmm, but you're from Indiana, I think, so I'll have to look it up. But of course, I was so eager to take this after getting it, because I haven't actually opened this yet, so I haven't opened it yet. So, and also to just anyone who uses these snap fastenings when you're sending me gorgeous post packs, I personally love them and they're great, but this one got bent and the package was half open when I got it, so always best to take them down as well if they're going international, because one thing I've learned about international post is sometimes it's very brutal on our stuff. So sometimes with my envelopes, I actually edge them in packing tape, not washi tape because that can be easily peeled off, but packing tape to reinforce the edges and to um, try and stop people getting into them. Because we, I have heard stories of letter journals being taken out um, and the package being opened like opened the letter journal and the happy mail just being sent on and the letter journals being kept and um, that particular postal worker was caught um, by some very diligent work of one of our letter journal swap people but really really postal workers leave our post alone <laughs> that's the way that's all I can say because these are all that's and they were they were showing it around their post office and passing it off as their own. I'm like, eh, yeah, I don't think so. Any postal workers out there that want to join our letter journal swap, come and join us. And I'm not saying that all postal workers are naughty. Just some. It's like any profession. Just some. It's always the naughty ones. But the art must have been really good. Okay, so I have this like big post pack envelope full of all stuff so I have like jelly print and paper paint or oh, painted papers strips and I have an awesome like bag of stuff and I'll open that in a minute oh look at these borders this looks like a die a die for painted borders I'm sitting there thinking mm, could you use that for spraying with that and all the sprays on that are all like pearlescent pretty 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 ah oh, look paper towel dive with delusions 
gotta love me that it's like someone's just vomited a rainbow onto a napkin I love it and what I love about that particularly is that there would be two layers yep two layers in that napkin in that paper towel I'll just rip them apart it's like getting two for the price of one because delusions just go through anything We'll have a look and see whether it's stuck or not. No, it hasn't. So now I have two. And they're both a little bit different. And easier to collage, not being double the thickness. So that's your thing. If you're using um, paper towel to mop up delusions, be aware that the, whatever, however many layers are in there, it'll soak through all of them. And then you're going to have a completely different print because it doesn't come through as much. And so this one's got more purple in it, but this one's got much more of the teal, which was obviously sprayed first. And I've got, wow, more paper towel or serviettes. And these ones have all been separated out already. And this was on a green napkin and then sprayed over the top and I've got the same thing going on here so if I separated that out I'm going to have a completely different thing on both sides I'm definitely going to have to do something I've got a few of these lately I'm definitely going to have to do something where I use them all show it on YouTube oh that's really pretty tissue paper I love old script love it I've got lots of ephemera and I always go towards old sheet music that has um, all beautiful art on the front of the sheet music and script in it and then old plays and, and old letters and just something that has awesome script and pen and ink drawings. And somebody heard I have a thing for spots and I do, I have a big weakness for spots. Particularly in clothes. Oh, and she sent me some fabric. Oh, got to love that. Look at that. That is so, so gorgeous. And you know, I've actually figured out, and I did one of these with some painted... With some painted um, fabric that I got from Gina in a package that I got on my birthday and I've actually used the fabric as the cover on the letter journal here and I've just added a little bit of stamping and writing and stuff to it but it's made that with the paper that I've used in it this is like I don't know 25 grams before it goes out it is so so light and I'm surprised that it is so light compared to this which is also light but an extra 15 or so grams so the paper is heavier so yeah but think about it using painted fabric for your letter journals depending on the type of fabric that you're using one the letter journals won't rip two you can still collage stuff on the inside of them or the outside of them three you can paint the fabric and still do all the same awesome things but four they may just may depending on the fabric that you use actually be lighter than paper so that was a lesson I learned this week because I've made up three or four letter journals this week haven't done the pages in them yet may have to take them away with me on the weekend although don't know how much spare time I will have but it would be interesting to do some sketching or watercolours in there and I'm sure the recipients would like it. Anyway, so that was something interesting that I got like, um, you know, some fabric and then did one because it was a, a piece that was like an off cut and all I had to do is just snip a tiny little bit off it and then suddenly it was the perfect size. Don't have to do anything just as is because she came painted. And I'm like, oh, and I've collaged on the inside of it just so you know I actually collaged the music and then gessoed it a bit so yeah on that one I have it 
and so it's glue there just use some collage so I need to ask Gina what that actually was because I don't know whether it was actually paper or fabric but it looks like fabric like it's running like fabric but the inside of it looks different I don't know looks great I like it really different okay so I have this bag of goodies I'm going to open the bag but um Oh, love this. So it's like I have the I have rolls and rolls of this, right? But I don't have any in a nice big circle. That would be awesome for a jelly plate for circle. I'm looking at doing. Um, I had someone contact me and say, "Yeah, I think you, I really like to do some stencils with you, and I've got a stencil machine, and uh, so I'm looking at designing some stencils. But I'm looking at designing." You'll have to wait to see what my designs come out as. But I'm looking at it to be as part of the, the things that I put online in my shop. So, yes, I'm looking, I'm looking at doing stuff like that. But I like the idea of circles. Oh, I like that. I love squished up, sort of slightly dried up flowers that are a little bit scraggly and spindly and you know, coming towards the end of their life. Oh, look, that would look awesome on a canvas, wouldn't it? And it's there to be stuck on as well. I have some fibres. Oh, it's like a border. It might be left over like border dye or a border punch. I like that. Bingo cards! I love bingo cards! How cute is that? I don't have any bingo cards. That's awesome! Awesome, awesome. All of this stuff is great for junk journals or letter journals. I'm not being really great with my junk journals lately. I've been working so hard on everything else. Oh, I like that. On music paper. I like that. Some stamped, jelly printed, inked, painted, stencil. Oh, that's a sticker. Oh, I like painted stickers. Definitely. Oh, I like painted stickers. See, she's used her green and reds very well there. Not making mud very well. Love cream. <gasps> Band-aids! How cute are they? How cute! Stickers. Definitely going to use them. Wendy. <laughs> oh look, look at all these little, they look like they're junk journal kind of journaling little things but I love the idea that I could do this for a letter journal thing for a collaborative spread and then everyone could write something on one of the notepads but there's only three. Oh no there's four. Oh look you know me really well you know I'm going to use them in a letter journal don't you. <laughs> I've got one I've got one that I've got to send out early next week these are going in it. Well done well done. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, I love, I love, I love. And I'm sure there's a couple in here yet. Really stiff. Oh, these are the best things to spray with. They're just awesome, awesome, awesome. I have a bigger one that I've used. I used it recently in my gratitude canvas workshop. And it was the most wanted stencil of that day. Amazing, amazing stuff. Oh, look. Fabric, fabric, fabric. Stuff for jelly plates and for stamping, so you can make stamps out of these. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So for me, I would just make a little stamp out of these. So I could use them over and over again. I wouldn't use them as is because I find them very, very irritating to actually use. But one thing I love to do with them is use them as stamps. Because if any of you have looked at a few of mine, I collect borders and these are all felt stamps like felt stickers and I don't I, I just find that they rip when I try to um like to peel all the backing off they just rip and whatever but they look absolutely fabulous when you coat them in paint or press them into a jelly plate and then use them as a stamp and brayer them in 
brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Oh, I love little birds, little blackbirds. More, more flowers, scungy flowers. Love them, love them. And just little. They look like little um, file tabs in all different colours, all folded in the middle. Be really cute. I'm working on a project where I'll probably use those. So it's really cool. Got some of those. Oh, and a little, a little thing. And some fibres. Now you got to love this kind of, that, I, I don't know. It just makes me think of Christmas, but I just love it. It's very festive and there's some more fibres. The one there, perfect for binding a leather journal with. Just the right length and everything. And it's got gold through it. Really, really, really pretty. I'm loving all this stuff. Now i just got to use it all. <laughs> I love it. I actually bought myself, I have like tubs. I'll show you my tub. Right. This is my tub for Happy Mail. And I have folders in here that have like Happy Mail <laughs> in them. So all of these awesome things are going into that tub and into those files. Including your envelopes. Actually, somebody sent me the most awesome, I think it was Nancy, sent me the most awesome envelope. And I loved it so much, I actually cut it up. There's a little piece of it. <laughs> I love the envelope so much, I cut it up and used it actually as pages in one of my letter journals. Let me show you. So, I think it's in this one. Right. So, letter journal that's blank and going out. That was Nancy's envelope. That was Nancy's envelope and I thought, wow, I loved it. And of course, it's really nice, you know, reasonably thick paper, but it's white on the back. So it was perfect. And that was the back. So I think, you know, they've already got a layer down and starting stuff. I can stick stuff. I, I haven't done anything with this journal yet. But I can stick an envelope or something over that. And I just love the fact that you can reuse and reuse and reuse. Make art over beautiful things, but use somebody else's art and then collaborate. They're not even part of that particular journal swap. Let me put this away. Now that I've dumped all my gorgeous happy mail in it. Yeah. Whew. That pole's starting to get large. That happy mail, that, that letter journal pile is starting to get large. And I have a lot out there at the moment. I'm waiting on like, I think eight, eight or nine to come back. And then when I've got the next slot back, I will be doing a tutorial on how I bind them into a journal. And each of those is their own individual signature. So I'll need to use a strong, strong, um, probably proper book binding cotton or even leather thongs, I think, when I'm, when I'm binding that book. But I'm still thinking about how I'm going to do it. So, yeah. So that's it from me for this week. I've been working on some journaling Crazy Island style videos this week. I'm trying to get that all done because I need to get all my lessons done um, for the end of the year. And, of course, bonus videos and tutorials and then... I've done a documented live page and been working on letter journals. So it's like full on, full on, full on this week. So um, I, I just, wow, love my life right now. It's, it's so full and busy. Today when um, went and opened, <coughs> opened Miss Lady Petal Creations bank account. And I'm just about ready now to start launching in. I'm the, It takes a little while. I've got to set up wholesale accounts and get all the supplies in and then set up the shopping cart and do stuff like that. So it's all working, people. I'm thinking that I'm not going to get it done in, in its full sense um, before the end of the year. But I'm looking for a launch next year, early next year. And uh, the, I'm... You know, any suggestions for products that you would really love me to stock in my store? I'm taking all suggestions because 
As a mixed media artist, I'm focusing on the mixed media space, so for mixed media paintings and also for um, art journaling. And I'm not focusing on the scrapbooking space. I think there are enough huge businesses out there that are doing that. But what I find is that as a mixed media artist and you want to do something different and new and amazing, that often uh, a lot of products are very hard to get your hands on and I want to make those things more accessible so I will be doing that but just bear with me but if you've got any things that you find hard to get in Australia that you would really love me to stock then I would welcome your suggestions because I know what I prefer but I also want to know what my potential customers would prefer as well so that's really really important Anyway, that's it from me this week. It's a reasonably long vlog this week, but then I had I had so much beautiful happy mail. Sorry. And morning morning tea. You get that. Alright, ciao for now. Remember I learned something new today. Keeps you young.